Welcome back to the Sister Show. My name is Yuka Sise, and we're super excited to have you back on our platform. And if you don't know, the Sister Show is a platform where we have honest conversations to inspire and empower pretty much everyone. We bring you burning topics that always hits home. And of course, today we have the amazing Scorpion team for you guys. <laughs> da and Asan. And then we have two more sets coming for you later down the hour. It's going to be a really fun show. We are super excited and proud of them. Hi, guys. Hello. Hello. Congratulations, by the way. Yes. Thank you. Thank big you. Congratulations. Yes. yes. It's been amazing. Thank you. Yes. Thank a you. big congratulations. And if you're just joining us, uh, please go ahead and share this video and click away and uh, definitely share it with your communities. And of course, if you're a Gambian, you know what's going on today. Yeah. The Scorpions, mm. all the way to the African Cup of Nation for the first yeah. time in the history of the Gambia. We are super, super excited and proud of all yeah. of them. So it's going to be an exciting and fun show. We definitely have a sister and brother chat. We're going to have chats with these uh, guys here. And of course, we have the main segment, which will have a conversation with them. And of course, you guys can see Dr. J is in here. We just switch her up. Uh, this is the finale, the season finale. Always, we have to take it back to where we're from, which is the Gambia. Of course, we carry the African flag everywhere, but we always have to carry the Gambian flag up front. We're ending the whole season with the Scorpions, and I'm going to keep saying the Scorpions because we are super proud of them. You can want to look like the hype man of the Scorpions. When was the last time you've been to a Scorpions game? Facts. Amy, when I was coming from Gambia, they didn't have the uh, no, 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 Uh, it was so, when he was going back to Spain and the way people were welcoming him there, it was really remarkable. I saw it on YouTube and I got really teary. And that was before he passed away, of course. And then I started researching more about him. And then soon later on, he, he passed on. But yeah, so see? My guy, Gom Gerko. Really, Hi, Ule. Ule, you're not the foolish guy. That's the song. Hey, isn't that the song? That's the song. Well, Ole, let's come to you. Yeah. Who did you know in the Scorpions? Biri Biri. <laughs> no, Ole, you still are. I hate no. you. <laughs> yeah, please shake your head. Please shake more. Okay. Mm -hmm. What about you, Amy? Know, you know, when it comes to Gambia, I know every single thing. So don't come for me. I know a lot. Okay. I actually okay. was at the zone. I went to zone two. Okay. Zone two. It might yeah, sound... And listen to me, it might sound decades ago, but I went to Zone 2, okay? I was actually one of the young people that were used to, to it was, I, I, I can't remember. A cheerleader? It, no, yeah, it was like, welcome <laughs> to Gambia, something. I was one of those guys. So, I mean, How old were you? I've always, I've always carried the Gambia flag. Aww. You know it or you don't yeah, know it. Know. And the trophy goes to ABC Say. <laughs> I don't have a problem. <laughs> That's what you wanted. Uh, she knows better than you. Who? Facts. Facts. So you read it. She said you. Okay, so you're reading me already now. Neman Mabena, Koji Gambia, or Captain Gambia. Before me. Coach Pasamba, you. Who was the last captain before Pupamu? Who is the other striker than me before mm. that you know for Gambia? She doesn't as score. No, as he score is not a, a, a striker. My soccer is I uh, know who I know. I don't know what what uh, what angle they play. Uh, okay. okay. You make sure you comment below. Let us know which strikers do you know as Asan just asked Amy or which are the famous or some of the players that you know from the Scorpions. And if you're from another country, the Scorpions, as we said earlier, they just won uh, the last games and now they are actually going to be going to the African uh, Cup of Nations. So let's go ahead and go into the game segment of the show and we have a whole lot more uh, coming for you guys. So stick around, don't go anywhere. When we come back, we'll play the game right here on the sister show. 
mosquito and malaria. No insecticide, if I come on the jolon to Syria, London, but Asia. Welcome back, everyone. Thank you so much for sticking around with us. And of course, we have the amazing Sophie and guys with us right here on the Sister Show platform. We have the Captain Nda and Asan, and we're gonna put you guys to the test. We're gonna check your IQs right now, along with the sisters. Uh, before we start the conversation that we're gonna have down the hour. Uh, so also do play along with us. Let's see your IQs. We do give prizes here. This is the finale or the season finale. So we may just be given a whole lot of prizes. Okay, so it's called the alphabet. Are you guys ready? Born ready. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's called the alphabet. So I'm gonna throw an alphabet. You will give us a name of a person that starts with that alphabet, a place, and also fruit. Okay, the first alphabet is K. Okay. Give me an oh okay, okay. Now you came first. Give me a name of a person that starts with K. Keta. What's first before now? Now yes. now Keta. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a name. Keta is not a name, it's a last name. Nah. No. <laughs> what do you mean? It may be Keta Jawa. This play. <laughs> okay, please hold your horses. But there is a player in uh Ivory Coast whose name is Keta Bale and uh there you go. No, in, in Senegal. That's you. <laughs> there you go, Amy. No. Okay, keep going then. <laughs> and and you, know, you know, Asan, Asan is holding it down for his captain. I see you, I'm Asan. Telling you. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> he always got our back in the pitch, so outside, we're going to get his back. So that's the way it is. <laughs> Comment, comment if you believe Kata is the name and you guys think that fail or we should continue. I think we should continue. Continue. All right, now. Let's continue. Oh. Okay, Amy, suck it up for now. That is the captain for right now until he loses. <laughs> okay, now give us a name of an uh, animal that starts with K. Mm. Fail. End of story. It's out. Ain't no captain here. I said, time out, bye. time out, time out. Yellow card. <laughs> All right, Amy, we're going to go with, with Amy since now we just gave you a yellow card. A few more games, you're going to get the red card. Okay, so Amy, give us a, the alphabet is, the alphabet is Z, which is Z. Give mm -hmm. us a name that starts with Z. Zena. Okay, give us a, a place that starts with Z. Zambia. Ooh, okay. Give us a fruit that starts with Z. Oh, zucchini. No, zucchini is a vegetable. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> yellow okay. card. Okay, we, that's a green card. I think now I got the yellow card. Well, no, green card means continue, right? Now? There's no green card in soccer. Oh my Number. God, you can't. <laughs> yellow card and red card. You got a green card for me. <laughs> You said it first. You messed me up. <laughs> no, I said yellow card. So the next alphabet on the list is let's go with um S. Ole. And I got <laughs> name of fruit that starts with S. Strawberry. Ooh. Okay. Name an animal that starts with S. An animal. And she, Snake. And she failed. <laughs> what is it? Snake. Damn, Ole. Ole, did you take your uh, uh fish oil today? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> All right. Oh, I'm just that smart. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Name of fruit that starts with A? Ananas. Ananas? Oh, what the hell? <laughs> well, he lives in Europe. That's probably what they call it. Yeah. That's oh, that's how you guys call it? Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. Yeah, I learned yeah. something yeah. again. Okay. So, name a person that starts with A. That's an easy one. Asa. <laughs> 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 <No>. <laughs> All right. Okay. Name a place that starts with A. A America. I mean, I think you rescued your brother here now. So all of you guys will get to play again. So, but now we're going to go with uh -uh, bo, 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 bo. Wait, wait. Hold on. You can, you can try to play smart. I'm going to be hosting this game. How about that? You guys going to play? <laughs> All right. Yeah, go ahead. You're going to play. A village in Gambia that starts with this letter. A village yeah. with the letter B. Booyah. Duh. Okay. No, but you're not done yet. Uh, name a, a village that starts with the letter S. Soma. It's not Soma. It's Soma. <laughs> <laughs> name a letter of a village that starts with the letter K. Kololi. Wait. Wow. 
Wow. Kolo Kian, is a blade. Kian, 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 no, Kian. you failed. Please keep it moving. Kolo is a blade. Look at you, your big age. You are so <laughs> backward. Comment below. You guys say Kolo is a blade. You say Kolo is a blade. <laughs> hey, hey, regular. I said Kian. Okay. Kolo. <laughs> okay, so in Gambia, right? You guys are going Gambia. Okay, yes. name a city or village that starts with the letter P, Amy. Pirang. Oh, okay. City or village that starts with D. In Gambia? <laughs> no, in Gambia. <laughs> yes. In Gambia? D? Yes. Yeah, there is one, I think. There's a lot. With a D? Uh, There's uh, nothing you in your field. Keep it moving. Name mm -hmm. a city or a village that starts with D. Uh, B, I don't know. Gambia, I don't know. <laughs> As I, Can I answer? I know. Oh, okay, now. Now, go ahead. Daranga. There's Where? no Daranga. Daranga. <laughs> Where's Daranga? Do you know Daranga? There is no. Daranga. What village? I don't know where, but there is, there is uh, one. Da. Place. <laughs> ask, ask, ask the okay, Seth, if you're watching, name us, let us know if there's a city in the Gambia or a village that's called Daranga. <laughs> and where is Daranka. it? Daranga. No. Is that your city in da? Daranga? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Dankunku. Uh, Dankunku. No, yeah? but and, Dankunku, Dankunku is, that... is Nyamina Dankunku. Exactly. Not named Dankunku. I said, it's Nyamina you are a striker. Dankunku. Please don't let me strike you. <laughs> 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 All right, I think I think we're gonna end the game here. But if you're watching, let us know if there's a city called city called Dar Daranka or Jukaranka or Amiranka. Or <laughs> <laughs> now I think you made that up. Daranka. <laughs> this one, nah. Uh, mm -mm. Yeah, and uh, and also if you believe uh, Nyamina Dampuku, if you can say Dampuku as a city, or is yeah. actually if if Asan actually is correct with that, that you have to say Nyamina first before you say Dampuku. Uh, don't go anywhere. Hopefully you are having a lot of fun. And when we come back, we'll go into the conversation with these two gentlemen before we get to the other side of the show. We'll stick around and go anywhere with the right back. No insecticide, if I go more like Jolanta Syria, Luntang Bota Asia. Welcome back, everyone. Thank you so much for sticking around with us. Hopefully, you were having a lot of fun with us on the game segment of the show. And of course, now we are going to go into the conversation with Na, the captain of the Scorpions, and also Asan. Um, Na, how has your journey been as a captain or as a football player or soccer player I should say if you're watching from the United States that's how we know it as uh, a soccer player in uh, with the uh, Africa especially the Scorpions in the Gambia it's, uh, it's a puzzle this is uh, what we wanted you know and uh, what we all what we know since when we were kids you know so mm. it's always nice you know to to fulfill your your dreams you know after after the hard work and uh, dedication but uh, for us it's it's dream come true for us, you know. It's really nice, you know, at the end, you know, for being qualifying uh, for the first time, uh, you know. So we are we are happy, you know. Were you the kid that would be around the corner when your mom sends you to the store, you will be kicking the stones or the ball until you get to the shop and then you come back or sometimes you take forever and then you get a whooping because you took forever to come back home. Were you that kid? <laughs> definitely, definitely, you know. We come in uh, from Manju, you know. That's uh, the street of Dobson, you know. So we grow up seeing that. So we always play football, you know. Going to school, you know, we have our balls, you know, coming to school, playing uh, until we are home, you know. You know, I'm actually really proud of you. I, I'm proud of you guys. In Gambia and mostly in Africa, there is no academy for, for young people or young young players um, who can actually go and train and have a coach from like childhood to groom them. Um, and for you guys to be able to excel and bring your careers up to this level, I think that is very, very, I mean, it's very fulfilling. And we're really proud of you guys. Because like, if you come to the West and you see a kid who is at a very young age, probably like as young as three years old, We'll be playing to we'll be going to an academy playing soccer until they're grown and 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 more mature. Uh, what kept you going even though you didn't have that sort of support? And do you guys have any plans also uh, when it comes to academy? The grassroots is always difficult because when uh, when I was young I go through that, but 
it was difficult. We have one academic called Suleiman Core Academy Sol, but it was difficult for have to have materials and uh, football shoes, and it's always difficult. We always train with our bare foot. Sometimes we wow. we, we 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 wear one shoes they call Nyamba. I think you guys know okay. it. Nyamba. The plastic yeah, one, Nyamba right? Plastic, yeah, Nyamba the plastic yeah. one. Yeah, so that's. That what we used to play and, uh, and so you just have to go with it because you are doing something that you love, something that you believe that you can be successful on it and uh, you dream big. Is it the number that actually helped you to put that? Because you were the goalie, right? You were the goalie. <laughs> you were the goalie, so the number prepared you, right? Should I go get some number yeah, now? Yeah, of course, or of course. Work? Sometimes, yeah. You wouldn't be able to be a striker. Just let that go. <laughs> <laughs> not gonna happen. Okay. Yeah, very happy. <laughs> yeah. Now it's my NCP. <laughs> not too late now. <laughs> Something that we use when we were young, and we play with barefoot on the streets, and you get injured on your toe, on your feet. So it was really difficult. And when you went home, daddy, your mom will whoop you, as you said. <laughs> And sometimes when you come back home late, uh, they will beat you and uh, you're never going to oh. stop. You you keep on going, you keep on going. So if I have the chance, I'm going to do it again. So Yeah. <laughs> wow. If you're watching, let us know if you are also, if you also experienced that, uh, that whooping because you were playing sports and you took forever. I mean, most sports in the Gambia, I think it's soccer. So if you were playing soccer and football and you got a whooping, let us know. And if you're watching, if you, your parent, Please stop whooping your kids because of they took too long to come back if they're playing football. What would you say that um, one of the things that probably is holding Gambian soccer or Gambian sports behind is, is it because of the lack of support um, that we experience from, not, from, from parents, from the government, from society in general? It's lately that we start having uh, academics and uh, stuff like that. But uh, before, you know, there was no academic, you know, and I think uh, that could have helped, you know, if we had academics, you know, but uh, now you see that, you know, we are getting a lot of academics and, you know, and it's helping not uh, a lot. And also, you know, we need, uh, when it comes to the financial part, you know, we are not uh, like, you know, Europe or other, uh, other countries. We all know, you know, we are not that compared to, let's say, Senegal and uh, mm -hmm. these Arab uh, countries, you know, when it comes to financial. And I think mm -hmm. uh, that, that part also, it's, we need to improve on that, you know. Yeah. And I think level uh, now, you see these Manchester cities, you know, they have a lot of financial, so they are buying uh, the good players, you know, mm -hmm. so it, it's like this, you know. It's all about money. It's about money. My know? son was mentioning that some of the things, it's like when you go back home, you got vision by your parents. So at what point like, did your parents really um, start like switching their mind and thinking, oh, this is kind of like really beneficial? For me, I think uh, uh, 2005, when, uh, when Gambia won the under-17 uh, African Cup in Gambia, mm. and then later we qualified to Brazil, uh, to, we qualified to Peru, you know, to the World Cup. And uh, uh, for me, you know, that's the experience I have. That's the time, you know, things start to change, you know. Not mm -hmm. for me, but uh, the whole nation, you know. The, the parents start, you know, leaving their uh, kids, you know, to go and play. So it's, it's almost like they need to see a success, right, uh, in the sports arena, uh, the parents, for them to accept it kind of thing? Yeah, you know, in Gambia, at first, you know, every everything was just school, you know. The parents yeah. would just... You have to you just have to go to school, you know. You don't have to, right. go to, you know. But mm -hmm. since that, you know, when they see the kids having money, you know, mm. and <laughs> at the time, you know, Africa, of course, moms. That, that, that's the time uh, it changed. You know? Yeah. For yeah. me, they 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 beat me so much because I was so stubborn when I was young that I I always go out to play. Sometimes I run away from. Dara and go and play so Aww. the Ustas will come home and say that Asad today did not come to come to Dara I don't know why and they go to the field and saw me there playing so they take me from there take me home and beat me but like, the time they started they started to believe that yes uh, our son can make it in football it was 2008-9 when I was uh, in Gamtel and uh, they 
they selected me in the under 17 but no. they started believing that i got something oh, and wow. they got my back and they start to support me and uh now i thank god that uh, now i am here and uh, i thank them for you, that who whooped you the most your mom or your dad my mom because my father always went for work so he always come in the evening mostly my mom is always at home so what's your mom's my mother's name, name is uh, yamaudo seka oh uh, yamaudo you're saying like yamaudo don't be like my land <laughs> you know, Yamada, if you're watching, I think you should write an apology letter to Asan. We demand it here on the sister show. Please write the letter. Okay, yeah, and but, apologize yeah. to Asan for whooping him all this time. I think it also kind of adds some kind of edge on you, though. So I think it's also okay. Before, our, our parents didn't understand that, you know, uh, you can be successful in sport. Mm -hmm. I think, but now that has changed, you know. I think that 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 was that was the main problem, you know. But now you see that in sport you can be successful. There's a boy <laughs> who plays right now basketball in the NBA, and he's one of the best players right now, um, like new recruits. And his name is Tyrese. I used to take Tyrese to practice. He was a young boy. He was three years old when I took him to practice. His dad would make sure every single day that this boy was playing. There was no whooping, it was motivation. They went through every single game and took him to every single training. And if they couldn't take wow. him to practice, they'll come and beg me to take him to now practice. In Africa now, they, they encourage, See, uh, yeah. they force them to go to academies and train and play it's football great. because they because they see now it's getting better and uh, it's getting developed in Gambia and it's a big opportunity. I said this to my uh, to my grandma, you know, that uh, one day I will I will buy a house uh, for you, you know, just uh, on my football because uh, everything that I want to have in life, I want to get it to football. Mm. That's 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 the belief. That's the belief I I, I have. The level of education, even if you play the sports, because that way you can handle your money. You could figure out a lot of things. I think it's it's a good balance, right? Don't you guys think? You have to balance everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, because now nowadays, if you are signing contracts, you have to know what you are going mm -hmm. to sign. You have to you have to do both. You could you you could you you could say that in America. People are going university, college, and uh, they're having their degrees and they are doing sport. They are, you know. Yeah. Likewise, in Africa, you know, it's 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 other way away. But now you could see that parents are starting to encourage that you can do both. I completely agree with that point in terms of having a balance, right? Doing the education, following your passion, which is which is sports. Because we've seen a lot, like in the West, there's a lot of um, people that are like very successful uh, in, in the sports career, but then they usually get to a point where they don't really know how to manage their money. And yeah. they have like all of these people that are like their agencies or whatnot, but they may not mm -hmm. always be looking out for the best for you. But if you really went to school and actually know like how to manage your own money, you most of them are at, at an advantage. Like if you look at um, Magic Johnson, he's like a very successful, he was a very yeah. successful sports guy, but also a very successful business person. So you definitely can do both. And mm -hmm. not just as a backup plan, but also to manage your own money. And like you said, read and understand your own contract so that people are not taking advantage. Yeah, one yeah. thing that I heard about Magic Johnson, supposedly he um, surrounded himself with a lot of smart business men yeah. that mentored him along the way. So I think that's important too. But speaking of mentor, before we let you guys go, before the next crew comes on, um, are, you, are there any plans in terms of going back to Gambia to mentor some of these young kids that are in the schools to... when you are successful on something you need to give back to where you came from and where you started so that you will give those young ones the belief and explain them how your journey was so that they might come through those things and say yes oh asan came through this so me too i have the same thing so i have to keep going and uh, to give them that motivation so that they will believe in themselves, they will know what they want and uh, let nobody break their dreams because when you are young, that's the time you have to have a dream. And we are the ones who have to help them and uh, go back to them, the schools, the academies and anywhere that we can go to give them the motivation 
and uh, give back because of Asan. That's why I'm going to chase my dream because of Pamoru. That, that's why I will never give up. So that's a good thing. And uh, we are doing it for our country. We are doing it for the future. And uh, our youth so is important. For me, since 2012, me and my uh, wife, we have a foundation. And uh, we have been doing football clinic uh, uh, different part of uh, in Gambia, you know, Buyam, you know, Birkam, uh, Kandunku, you know, we do football clinic, you know, with uh, the help of the other professional players, you know, and my friends, we go there, you know, we took some materials, you know, we train with the kids, you know, we talk with them, you know, give them advices. So we have been doing this uh, with my with my wife and uh, with the foundation. So and we will keep uh, doing that. What's, what's the name of the organization? Nda Mariam Jain Family Foundation. We're, we're into maternal mortality, you know, that's the main thing, you know. And I think that's why Dr. Mams work with them. So Dr. Mams is actually our sister. She's she's the youngest of the three of us right here. Same mom and dad. So um, she's our sister. Um, so I, I think that's probably why she was working with you guys because she is an OB. And hopefully one day she'll be go, able to go to Gambia and work with you guys on the ground. She's an amazing yeah. doctor. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes. And if you're watching, comment below and let us know which are some of the ways that you think this uh, young man can inspire the youths in Gambia more. And also some of the things that they are doing that you're proud of. I'm sure everybody recognized Hassan as the goalie and that as the captain. Wait, do we salute the captains or not really? What do we do with captains when we see you guys? How do you celebrate your goal? How do you celebrate your goal? Because I know everyone has their own way. What do you do to celebrate your goal, Hassan? Me in Gambia, when I score, I always open my arms like this. So. The wings, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah, and yeah, like the flying? Wings. To fly, yeah. To fly high. And, and that is what it is. You know what? I'm going to share this with the audience. And I'm going to I'm from Banjul. I'm from Banjul. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, as from Banjul. Where are you from? Banjul. So, so Banjul, there is something in Banjul. I think the kids, in, the boys in Banjo just, they, they're very Dege Bopa. They, they, they no, it's, play it's, soccer till they die. It's not about Dege Bopa. It's about huh? brave and believe in yourself. It's about it's brave and believe. It's brave. Oh, I like that. Okay. Thank you. Brave, okay. Yeah. Okay. I can no longer buy it. Comment below. If you're no longer buying it, comment below. If you're no longer Serekuna, so can you do the lucky Nongo? Yes, of course. And my Egana de Akabila Ongobino. Ya <laughs> I know, he looks wow. like a little bit of 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 that's the oldest joke. <laughs> what the hell did Hassan just say? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell did Oh, the switch. Come on. Come on, Hassan. Come on, on that note, we will let um, Hassan and Da go now so that we can have the other two guys, Ibrahima and Lemin, join us here and to continue the conversation. Before we let you guys go, Da, if you can share your organization's name one more time. And Hassan, I know you're on Instagram. I see your posts all the time. Please also go ahead and share your yeah. Instagram details. Da, Mariam Jain Family Foundation. Family yeah. Jain, or you can say Da Jain. Yeah, Asan Sise. If you type Asan Sise or Asan Sise official, you say. On that yeah. note, right. we will say goodbye to Asan and uh, thank you guys so much. And we wish you guys all the best, all inshallah, the best. at the thank African you. Cup of Nations. We know you guys are going to do good. Thank we all you. have been thank praying you. for you guys. Hey, hey, before, hold on, thank before you. you guys go, 
can uh-huh. I have at least a, a jersey from each one of you, please? So I can wear <laughs> rep, please. I'll send you my address. And make sure it's signed, please. I'll send you guys my address in your DMs. My name on Instagram is Amy CC. Please slide in my DM. I'll give you my address and you're gonna send me my jersey. Be, be Deal? careful that she she's gonna sell it there. She she's hey, you so, <laughs> Deal? Okay. I'm wrapping the scorpions with my way. Can you guys see that? <laughs> right? Our homeland. Yeah, they're red, they're red. Hey, hey, I'm I got red lip. Last words to the audience before we go, quickly. Thank you uh, very much. Uh, we appreciate uh, everyone uh, who is uh, watching uh, this uh, show. Thank you very much. Uh, I have to thank the audience and uh, Thanks you guys for the invitation and it was nice and uh, I really enjoyed it and I hope to have more more like this. I wish this show will go higher high and uh, it will be watched everywhere. So Yes, you. yes. And we will see you guys after the African Cup of Nation, inshallah, for another great yeah. interview, hopefully. Yes? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Bye guys. Bye. 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 Bye.